know that it's affecting it too much. Uh, you know, I normally put a lot of pressure on myself to play well and perform and win games. So, you know, whether you're, you know, up or, or down in the standings, you, you should have the same approach, I think. You know, and second, we've been in a hole, so we're used to this now. We, uh, we, we've been winning, you know, kind of more or less three out of four the last few weeks. And got to keep doing it. Coach was talking about how you're starting to get hit. What's taken so long? Well, just a lot of, you know, newness you know we got a lot of new guys new coach very little practice time so t times like today are great when we can actually practice some things instead of just talking about them and trying to do them so um you know i think we make some strides every time we practice but uh we got to make strides in games too because we're not going to get a lot of practice time and of course it's, it's it's such a strain just trying to get to that eighth position it is it's going to be a tough ride here trying to get into the playoffs but um you know let's make it fun let's try to overcome the odds and get back in there and then see if we can scare some people. Coach was saying he doesn't want you guys to scoreboard watch and that he should do that, but is it human nature to see what Houston and what Utah and some of these other teams in front of you were doing? You know, maybe it's because I've, I've played a long time, but I really don't follow the scoreboard. I, I just try to worry about being ready to go and uh, trying to worry about our team. And, uh, you know, if we win the majority of our games coming in here and get hot, we got a chance. And, and if someone else stays hot and we can't get in, you know, that's, that shouldn't affect the way we play and approach the game. Yeah, I think we read off him, you know, and see how he's feeling, see what he sees out there, and, uh, and, and just try to follow him. He's so talented, um, so obviously we know that, but is there an adjustment to play with a guy like that who can, you know, almost go all in with passing or all in with scoring? I, I think, of course, you know, there's not a lot of guys like him, and, um, you know, it's an adjustment for me, obviously, because I had the ball all the time, but, uh, you know, it's great. I mean, I've, I've embraced it and enjoyed it, and, uh, you know, I think we're... We're forming a good understanding, and uh, I think we can keep getting better as well. You know, I don't, I don't think we should put too much thought into it. I think okay. you just need to commit to it and go. And uh, you know, the more we are, in, are of two minds, the less affected it will be. But the more we, you know, try to mix it up and be committed to that, just playing the game and being, uh, you know, demonstrative and in both of them and, and using both of them, I think the better we'll be. You know, Steve, with as late as it is, do you sense any of your teammates starting to feel the tenseness, the pressure? I, I don't. Um, you know, personally, I don't. And, uh, you know, I think uh, you, know, you got some veterans on the team that uh, enjoy this. So, you know, I think I know, uh, you know, I'm going to enjoy this and try to, you know, obviously we wish we were in this, you know, one, two, or three spot. But now that we're here, you know, let's enjoy being the underdogs. Let's enjoy the pressure. And let's welcome it and let's embrace it and try to make it, uh, allow it to elevate our, our, you know, process and elevate our progress.